Welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound. In this video, we are going through how to get your hands on the Palace Edition cars. The exclusive ones that are available for people that purchase the most expensive edition of the game. This edition of the game is going to cost you £70 on Steam. And if you don't have EA Play through Xbox Game Pass or whatever, then it's going to cost you £80 on Xbox. Looking on Steam, it says pre-order Need for Speed Unbound Palace Edition and get three days early access plus exclusive Palace branded content, including four stunningly intense new custom cars, they include the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series 2020, the Volkswagen MK1 Golf GTI 1976, the BMW E30 M3 1988, and the Mercedes AMG G63 2017. There are two asterisks next to it, but it doesn't actually state what they mean. So jumping into the game, you're probably going to think, oh, I get these cars to use. That's the impression I was under. But no, it doesn't work like that. You need to progress far enough into the game to unlock the cars to purchase. Every single one of them need to be bought. So if we jump into the rides, we go to buy and sell, then we go to buy custom. This is the Volkswagen Golf GTI 1976. You can see it says item locked and I'm probably a few hours into the game now, but I still cannot purchase this. Even if I had the money, I would still not be able to. Because you need to reach week 2 in the game in order to unlock this one. Then if we have a look, we have the BMW M3 Evolution 2 E30 1988. This is going to cost you $60,000. And this one, you need to reach week 3. Then we have for $110,000, we've got the Mercedes AMG G63 2017. You have to reach week one. So you'll see this one doesn't say item locked at the top right of it. So I could purchase this one if I had 110 grand sitting there. And then the final car is going to cost you 275000 That is the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series 2020. In order to unlock this just to purchase it, if you had that money, you have to reach week four in the game. So you need to be fairly close to the end of the game to actually unlock this car to purchase. And you need a load of money. So those are the four cars that are available with the uh, Palace Edition, the more expensive edition of the game, and you don't get them for free. You have to purchase every single one of them, and the cheapest one isn't actually available until you progress quite far into the game. The one that does become available early on is far too expensive. You're not earning that much. You're probably earning, after your buy-in costs, it's probably about four or five grand a race, but there's upgrades you need to do, there's lots of different stuff you need to do to like, and you've got to spend the money and stuff. So you're not going to be able to afford this vehicle for a very, very long time. So I personally don't agree with the way they've done it, but that is how to unlock the Palace Edition cars in Need for Speed Unbound. And that is going to do it for this video. Check out this video if you want to see the playthrough I'm doing for the game on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.